Peter Vogel here with another look at the 30th anniversary edition of the Fairlight CMI. In this video we're going to look at the sampling page. The main features of this page are the level meters, the waveform display, the settings, an oscilloscope and a tuning indicator. The oscilloscope lets you get the level of the signal source right and also shows the rough tuning. Tuning is optional but you probably will want to sample all your sounds at exactly the same pitch so that you can play them back together without further retuning. To get the tuning right you play the note you want to sample at on the keyboard and that value is shown above the oscilloscope. You then adjust the pitch until the oscilloscope shows exactly two cycles. When the pitch is about right, the zero crossing will fall on the crosshair. The tuning indicator, the lower of the two boxes, works like a strobe tuner, where the waveform becomes stationary when it's exactly at the right pitch. Once you've got the pitch and amplitude right, you're ready to sample. Here are the settings. First, the total sampling time. Trigger level refers to automatic triggering and I'll set that to minus 5 dB. You can also set record handles, which makes the sampler capture the signal from the specified time before you start sampling until that time after you hit stop. The sample source selector lets you choose between analog input, digital input or the mix bus. The mix bus is the output of the CMI itself, so it can resample its own sounds. So now we're ready to sample. Hello! Now I can adjust these handles to exactly the start and end points I want before saving the sample. Hello! 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 Samples are made at 24 bits and saved as 16 bit WAV files. Now I'd like to show you the resampling feature. First, I'm going to load a simple tambourine sound. Now I'm going to use a single event in page R to trigger 24 notes of this sample at the same time and at different pitches. Because the notes play longer as the pitch goes down, you get this interesting tailing off effect. Note also that page R is sample accurate. That means that when it plays 24 notes at the same time, they really are at the same time and exactly in phase every time. Now I'm going to the sample page. I'll select the mix bus as the source and sample it. So now I've created a dramatic new sample which I can use as a new instrument. Finally, I'd like to show you just how simple it is to make a sawtooth waveform using the CMI30A. So that was a quick look at how to make samples with the CMI30A. In the next video, we're going to look at how we can apply real-time effects to make these samples much more interesting.